guys, I am back and I am thirsty. I should have did this first. And I have some palettes that I just kind of want to go through um, some of the best things about them. Because um, I thought it might be helpful if you haven't tried certain brands. So the first palette that I have here is the New Romantic Too Faced palette. Okay, and I got this in a swap. Now, um, this is what it looks like. There's three glosses that are right in here, and that's a blush bronzer, and then there's eyeshadows. These eyeshadows are so pigmented, and um, let me see if I can show you. That's the light color. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it now. Um, they're just phenomenal. Let me get this off. And uh, the lip gloss, I think, for Too Faced is, is beyond what you pay, okay? Um, and pa this palette, I if you really enjoy colors kind of like this, browns and purples, and then, um, I don't know if you could see it correctly. This is like a cranberry color, and then a brown, and then you get a clear. Now, um, this staying power, to me, stays on more than Ulta. Um, stays on more than Urban Decay. Um, Too Faced really does have good staying power, so pigmentation is worth the price. So I'm going to go with, um, and this is another Too Faced one. We don't want another. Well, I have one more Too Faced. I have Good Girl, Bad Girl. Good Girl looks like this. It's all the pinks. I've used, the, I think, every single one of these on here. There's a dark pink. There's a silver, there's a black, and then on the top is the three lip glosses. And then they all have the mirrors. And then the bad, oh, that was bad girl. What the hell am I talking about? I can't believe I just swore on my channel. Um, they're all browns, the good girl, it's all naturals. Um, what I say about this is that the price, and also this pulls out with brushes, um, the price that you would pay for this, I think I got this in a swap too. I think it would be well worth it to buy this because this one, yeah, you get six eyeshadows and six glosses, but look at how little. And for some reason, when they fill those pans, I don't think they're as pigmented as these. You know, and you think the formula would be the same. So, just if you're gonna, if you're trying to choose between like a good girl, bad girl, and the romantic, pick this, okay? <laughs> just from my experience. Now, if you've ever tried, if you have not tried Suit of It, this is my recommended uh, brand. I've only had this, ooh, this is messy. I should have cleaned this. Um, I've only had this palette. This is the Naughty palette. I got this on Makeup Alley too. I think her eyeshadows are, I can't even tell you. I'm going to put this on, and I know Jenna's going to laugh, my finger tutorial right here. Um, look at that. This is with my finger, one swipe, and whoo, I was just blinding myself with that mirror and my light. That's the white. The other color, I'm putting the white on the other side too. Um, the other color is silver. I'll apply it too. I don't have any brush here. Just sh They give you a lip brush. They don't give you an eye brush. Okay, so then you, you get the silver. Okay, can you see that? So let me put a little bit. I honestly, this is so smooth. I feel like I'm putting on a like, lip gloss on my lip. That's how it applies, that smooth. <laughs> and the lip glosses, let me get on my finger. See how red it is? I just used a little bit on my finger. The pigmentation is unbelievable. So if you have not checked out Sue DeVitt, I, I have a white desk and I just got stuff all over it. It ticks me off. <laughs> um check her out now next I still have time um you're like what is this first of all this is velvety and when you open this this is the Ulta palette 
This was Christmas from last year. I do not buy Ulta products. I don't even go into Ulta because I know it's just trouble for me. So I rarely go there. Um, but that light's really starting to bother me. That's why I'm squinting, if you're wondering what the hell's going on with her. Their colors. Now, I got this. This was regularly $12. That's it. 12 bucks for this. Okay? I got it for $8. Then, I had a $5 off because I was buying, I bought like bobby pins or something. So it was over 10 bucks. So I got this palette and that for $5 or whatever it was. $5.20. $5.35. Sorry. 7% tax in Jersey. Okay, so this, if you cannot tell, has been used the most and I use this color all the time. I've used this. I've used this. I have not used the black. I have not used this one. I do like using this one as a variation in the summer. Mix, you know, do have a look with that and that. I just, I like doing safe makeup. And it just got dark. I just am a safe makeup girl. I just don't think I look good with all these crazy colors on my face. But lastly, Urban Decay. This used to be my, I mean, Let's see, 2004, so like five years ago, that's when I really started using Urban Decay, and I had the wallpaper palette, and um, I used that one till it was almost all the way gone, which is, I never do that for any products. Um, so now I have, this is the Ammo, I actually paid full price for this, um, last summer, and I love Maui Waui, down here. I never use smog, which is above it. I love shattered, but I have my own, you know, shadow of it. But I want to use this one up first. Um, polyester bride I use often. It's not white, it's cream. I've never used the oil slick. It's once again it's a black. I need to experiment. Last call was my favorite in the wallpaper palette, but if you guys know Urban Decay, this um last call is darker. I swear it is. It's not the same as five years ago. Then you have um, Grifter. It's a purple. And then there's Chopper, which I've never used. It's like this brownish yellow. And then Sin, I've used once. And you guys know Sin. They have Sin Primer Potion now. What I like about Urban Decay is that the colors are vibrant. And when they give you um, a palette, they really think about how you can mix and match and do looks. Um, there's so many looks just looking at this right now and I know so many looks I've used it for. What I don't like is that the sh they're so shimmery. They're not matte, sh they're not matte uh, eyeshadows. They get so much glitter no matter how much translucent powder I put here and I apply it. It's all over my face. Every time I wear Urban Decay people say, you have glitter all over your face. I am so over it, so over it. I love you, Urban Decay, but you guys need to do something for me and a, a lot of girls that don't like to look like we're 10 years old. So please, please do something about it. I can't believe I just got that serious about it. But anyways, those are some of the palettes that I have, and those are my take on it. So this is a huge review video. My other one was, you know, good reviews, and this was kind of good and bad. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you all, and I'm not crazy, I swear. Oh, and go Alabama, because they're about to play tonight, and they're going to go 7-0. and oh. Don't hate, don't hate. Roll tie roll. All right, bye.